Hi guys, and welcome back to my second sports broadcasting podcast, where I'll be discussing the myths, cliches, and stereotypes within fans and the media directly towards race. Granger in 2009 stated that race has been one of the most important areas of inquiry in the field of sport and mass media. This is said to be true as in sport, racism has become a huge issue, not just from the fans, but also from the media. One major sporting athlete has been affected is an England star and Premier League player Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling has been targeted by many by, by newspapers many times. He was published a few years ago on the front of front page and criticised for buying a house after the Euros. The news outlet made Raheem Sterling to look bad and tried to put him in a bad spotlight. However, didn't disclose the full story to the public. In fact, he did buy a house, but for his mum. And for that, they re- they criticised him and ridiculed him for doing so. But they didn't state this in the, in the newspaper that he bought that house for his mum. They quoted him as obscene Raheem. This can be linked to another to another situation regarding another football player called Phil Foden, who also plays for England. He too bought a house for his mum, which was published in the newspaper, saying that he bought the house for his mum, and they labelled him, quoting him as a starlet, yet quoting Raheem Sterling as obscene. Raheem Sterling isn't the only player to be criticised in the newspaper. Another young footballer was also put on the spotlight by a headline, headlining saying that he hadn't played a game in the Premier League and was earning £25,000 a week and yet still spent two, £2 million on a house, making him out to be some kind of bad guy. However, again, they didn't state, like they did with Raheem Sterling, that this house was for his mum. This clearly shows the difference between a young black athlete and a young white athlete and how the media portrayed them to the public. In 2010, Jacko van Sturtberg and others wrote an article analysing race in sports media. They stated that the social power of televised sport is evident in the popularity of male sports stars like Usain Bolt or Thierry Henry, who may serve as a role model and a source of empowerment for many young black media users. Many will see young black athletes as role models in today's society, looking up to them and wanting to do exactly what they do. However, when the media portray people like Sterling and clearly segment him from other athletes, this can have a huge effect on those who watch. It can also be supported by Davidson and Harris in 1998. They suggested that the sports, sport media also portray racial and ethnic minorities in stereotypical ways thereby reinforcing and confirming racial racial and ethnic inequalities in society. Ranger in 2009 stated content still relies on racist ideologies by stereotyping and mythologizing demonization by by associating with deviants. An example of what has been presented to you today, they have highlighted Sterling as conducting bad behavior, but haven't done so with Phil Foden, who committed the exact same act on buying a house for their mum. From all the evidence presented today, it just shows how the media stereotypes young black athletes compared to the young white athletes. I hope you've enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Whether we're in a stadium or not, there's no room for racism.